hello hi everyone welcome back to our channel little underrated today we are gonna check out a video from our channel uh, the channel is actually German now the name of the channel is half in German and half in English so I am unable to pronounce the German part I do not want to pronounce it correctly so let's uh, keep it with the second half part of the channel which is in a nutshell right first part uh, there is a keyword which I am unable to pronounce and uh, so let's for it uh, for now let's pronounce it as K so the channel name becomes for us is K in a nutshell so this is quite a famous channel they make really interesting videos explaining a lot of things which uh, might be which we might be dealing directly or indirectly in our daily lives or thinking about those things right so we are gonna check out some of their videos today we are gonna check out a video titled as the immune system explained one so probably they have made multiple videos on the immune system this sounds to be the first part or one of those uh, videos from that series uh, this is for bacteria infection so the title is immune system explained one bacteria infection so let's jump to the video and uh, get some insights regarding how immune system works and all the details let's jump to the video every second of your life you are under attack billions of bacteria viruses and fungi are trying to make you their home so our bodies have developed a super complex little army with guards soldiers intelligence weapons factories and communicators to protect you from uh, well dying for this video let's assume the immune system has 12 different jobs for example kill enemies communicate etc and it has 21 different cells and two protein forces these cells have up to four different jobs let's assign them here are the interactions now let's make this understandable first of all let's add colors to the jobs now let's illustrate the cells the central color represents the main job of the cell while the surrounding ones represent secondary duties now the immune system looks like this now the interactions isn't this complexity just awesome for this video we will only talk about these cells and ignore the rest so what happens in the case of an infection it's a beautiful day when suddenly a wild rusty nail appears and you cut yourself the first barrier of the immune system is breached your skin nearby bacteria seize on the opportunity and enter your wound they start using up the body's resources and double their numbers about every 20 minutes. At first, they fly under the radar, but when a certain bacteria population is reached, they change their behavior and start to damage the body by changing the environment around them. The immune system has to stop them as fast as possible. First of all, your guard cells, known as macrophages, intervene. They are huge cells that guard every border region of the body. Most of the time, they alone can suffocate an attack because they can devour up to 100 intruders each. They swallow the intruder whole and trap it inside a membrane. Then the enemy gets broken down by enzymes and is killed. On top of that, they cause inflammation by ordering the blood vessels to release water into the battlefield so fighting becomes easier. You notice this as a very mild swelling. When the macrophages fight for too long, they call in heavy backup by releasing messenger proteins that communicate location and urgency. Neutrophiles leave their patrol routes in the blood and move to the battlefield. The neutrophiles fight so furiously that they kill healthy cells in the process. On top of that, they generate barriers that trap and kill the bacteria. They are indeed so deadly that they evolved to commit suicide after five days to prevent them from causing too much damage. If this is not enough to stop the invasion, the brain of the immune system kicks in. The dendritic cell gets active. It reacts to the signals of the soldiers and starts collecting samples from the enemies. They rip them into pieces and present the parts on their outer layer. Now, the dendritic cell makes a crucial decision. Should they call for antivirus forces that eradicate infected body cells or an army of bacteria killers? In this case, antibacteria forces are necessary. It then travels to the closest lymph node in about a day. Here, billions of helper and killer T cells are waiting to be activated. When T cells are born, they go through a difficult and complicated training process and only a quarter survives. The surviving cells are equipped with a specific setup. 
and the dendritic cell is on its way looking for a helper T cell with a setup that's just right. It's looking for a helper T cell that can bind to the parts of the intruders which the dendritic cell has presented on its membrane. When it finally finds one, a chain reaction takes place. The helper T cell is activated. It quickly duplicates thousands of times. Some become memory T cells that stay in the lymph node and will make you practically immune against this enemy. Some travel to the field of battle to help out. And the third group goes on to travel to the center of the lymph node to activate a very powerful weapons factory. Like the T cells, they're born with a specific setup. And when a B cell and a T cell with the same setup meet, hell breaks loose. The B cell duplicates rapidly and starts producing millions of little weapons. They work so hard that they would literally die from exhaustion very fast. Here, helper T cells play another important role. They stimulate the hard-working factories and tell them, don't die yet, we still need you, keep going. This also ensures that the factories die if the infection is over so the body doesn't waste energy or hurt itself. But what is produced by the B cells? You've heard of them, of course, antibodies. Little proteins that are engineered to bind to the surface of the specific intruder. There are even different kinds of antibodies that have slightly different jobs. The helper T cells tell the plasma cells which type is needed the most in this particular invasion. Millions of them flood the blood and saturate the body. Meanwhile, at the site of infection, the situation is getting dire. The intruders have multiplied in number and start hurting the body. Guard and attack cells fight hard, but also die in the process. Helper T cells support them by ordering them to be more aggressive and to stay alive longer. But without help, they can't overwhelm the bacteria. But now the second line of defense arrives. Billions of antibodies flood the battlefield and disable lots of the intruders, rendering them helpless or killing them in the process. They also stun the bacteria and make them an easy target. Their back is built to connect to killer cells so they can connect and kill the enemy more easily. Macrophages are especially good at gnoming up the bacteria which antibodies have attached to. Now the balance shifts. In a team effort, the infection is wiped out. At this point, millions of body cells have already died. No big deal, the losses are quickly replenished. Most immune cells are now useless, and without the constant signals, they commit suicide, so as not to waste any resources. But some stay behind, the memory cells. If this enemy is encountered ever again in the future, they will be ready for it and probably kill it before you even notice. This was a very, very simplified explanation of parts of the immune system at work. Can you imagine how complex this system is? Even at this level, when we ignore so many players and all the chemistry. Life is awfully complicated, but if we take the time to understand it, we always encounter endless wonders and great beauty. I must say this video was so 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 beautiful I have never seen a short and so beautiful explanation of uh, the immune system specifically to bacteria explained in this sense and of this way I really loved the way they have kept it short and so beautiful I just wonder how they might have analyzed I know there has a lot of research been going in the medical sciences but how complex it might be to understand so 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 complex immune system in human bodies specifically and I'm sure they uh, haven't yet uh, understood fully how the immune system works there might be a lot of complexities on which the research is still going on and will be going on in the future but uh, but ever they have understood till now like this video is around seven to eight years uh, posted uh, it was posted seven to eight years back in 2014 so at that point as well as we are watching it today that much enormous uh, level of research might uh, would sorry would have required uh, in uh, uh, studying how the immune system is working, its complexities, how different parts of the immune system interact with, it, with each other, like the way th those diagrams were uh, showing different uh, parts of the immune system, how they are related to each other or how they send the signals. There were 
uh, gray pipelines or colored pipelines they have set up to explain it in a better way how complex the network was for those pipelines like uh, as complex as uh, uh, as uh, the system of wires i would say in an electronic circuit right so it has been presented so beautifully in 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 form of animations and slides really enjoyed watching the video i'll be looking forward to other videos as well uh, specifically on immune system and other things as well uh, the way they are uh, explaining the things in, uh, so beautifully and in a sh so short crisp, crisp way that uh, it is like a lot of information in a fewer of the seconds they are delivering so we are going to check out some other videos uh, as well from this channel till then please subscribe to our channel and uh, i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye